Jay here, and I'm back again to talk about the Cawdor Outcast Gang for the Ash Waste Part 2. In this one, we'll be looking at a biker, both mounted and on foot. We'll be looking at a Ash Waste's mechanic model that I built, as well as three vehicles and some hive scum. So, strap in and get ready for some Ash Waste's action. This time on JD in the sump sea. The first ganger we see here is Hannah and Holt. She's equipped with a reclaimed auto gun and a flail. The head is from the Escher box set, and the body is a Chaos Cultist from the Ashes of Faith box set. Next up is Delilah Horthfels. Mounted on a waster dirt bike, Hannah is wielding a flail. The dirt bike is a 3D print from a buddy of mine. The legs are old orc legs from the old 2nd edition orc truck. The left arm is from a Mordheim mercenary. It was holding a bow. I cut the bow off to make it look like a handle instead and turned it 90 degrees. The right arm is from the Orlock box set. The hand holding the flail is from the Cawdor Weapons and Upgrades box. Delilah's torso is from the Hive Scum box and her head is an Orlock Wrecker head. The bit on her back with the pouch and grenade is from the Chaos Space Marine box from 4th edition. Here's Delilah again, this time unmounted. This time her legs are from the old Catachan Imperial Guard box. Her torso, head, and flail are the same bits as the last model. The left hand and arm is from the Cawdor box. I forgot to mention the shoulder pad. The shoulder pad is from the Chaos Marauders box from Warhammer Fantasy Battle. The next model is my Ash Waste mechanic, Liv Bodvin. I came up with rules for an Ash Waste mechanic as a hangers-on because of the Ash Waste weekend coming up November 10th, 11th, and 12th. My friend who was running it asked for my input on creating some hangers-on, specifically for the Ash Waste environment, and I came up with a mechanic and driving instructor. Anyway, back to the model. Liv's body and legs are from the Hive Scum box, as is her left arm with the stub gun. Her right arm is from the Gene Stealer Cult's Adelan Jackals box. Her backpack's from the Forge World Orlock Ashways upgrade set, and the head is an Orlock Wrecker. Next up is Five Hive Scum. These are in the gang because I have an Underdog Tactics card that can add D3 plus 2 Hive Scum at the start of the battle. There's also a trade route in this Ashways campaign I'm running that could include a free Hive Scum. I would wanted to make sure I had some models available just in case I wanted to use that card or if I acquired that trade route. Four of these Hive Scum models are made from Empire Flagellants with, the, with various weapons and heads, and the metal model is an actual first edition Necromunda Quadro Ganger. Now we get on to the vehicles in the gang. The first vehicle is called the Smoky Crow's Nest, and it's crewed by Abel Raghelm. This vehicle's chassis is an old 40k second edition orc truck. The back wheels and the cube below the transport bed is from Ramshackle Games. The ladder on the back is from an Imperial Guard Basilisk. I used some old pieces of plastic card and cut them up to try and make them into rough pieces of metal. I put the orc truck front spiked ram piece in front of them and put it pointing up to make it look a bit more ramshackle. The driver's head is again from the Orlock Records kit and its body is the old orc body for the orc truck model. I can't remember where the smoke launchers on the top are from, and I think the black ones near the driver are from the old Space Marine Dreadnought. Next up is the pincushion, crewed by Jacob Slughold. This vehicle's center is the base of an Imperial Guard Basilisk. The front is a resin piece from Ramshackle Games. The ram on the very front is from the old orc truck. The front wheels are old Games Workshop 40k vehicle rules, which were used in various sets, both Imperial and Orc, during the 2nd and 3rd edition. The back transport bed is from the old Orc truck model. I've collected many Orc trucks in the past 20 years, and this project I decided to start using them. Center is a resin piece from Ramshackle Games also. 
The circular bit on the top is from an Imperial Guard Valkyrie, as is the two armor pieces enclosing the front of the transport bed. The very back armor piece is from Vasilisk, and there are various Chaos Marine uh, vehicle accessory bits and spikes around the vehicle. I bought a big bag of barbecue skewers from the dollar store for the spikes on the hood, and I secured them with blobs of green stuff and super glue. And finally, we have my leader Enox ride, the Tractor, crewed by Noah Blistersump. The tracks on the side are large resin bits from Ramshackle Games, as is the back half circle bit. The top transport bed section is from an old orc truck, and I use various bits from Pegasus Games' platformer terrain kit. I used various Chaos Space Marine vehicle accessory bits and chunks of thick plastic card for armor plates. I used books from the Empire Flagellants box and a couple of brass rods for the smokestack. The engine is from a new orc truck model and the cow catcher ram bit on the front is from the old rhino model. The driver has an old Katachan head and body with the arms from the old orc truck driver. The poor guy in stocks is from the Empire Flagellants box as well. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Next time I'll talk about the first week of my October Ash Waste campaign. And again, until next time, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.